it's Sunday. This video today is about my Sunday long run. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So I'm just uh, about four miles just over into my run. Uh, I'm trying to fiddle my way through down to Erif and my plan is to take the uh, the Thames footpath heading west back to Woolwich and then back home so I think that should give me about 18 miles I'm not quite sure let's see how we get on so I'm just dropping down into uh, Erif now got a nice view there of the Dartford crossing in the distance So I've made the, uh, this is the road I wanted to get across, the bridge. So now I'm literally a short hop now to the Thames pathway. So here we are. I've made it down to the Thames footpath. So over there is Essex. <coughs> the tide's out today, in a minute. So that's uh, Raynham, I think, over there. And over there you can just make out the Dartford crossing. Looks like that's running nicely. <coughs> Looks like a Boris bike down there. Seen better days. So I'm heading west now towards London. That's east. So that'll be another day, another run. I've never actually run along this that, that direction, but I'd love to try and try it one day. Uh, that probably take me through the uh, Dartford Marshes area. So that'd be worth checking out sometime. Um, again, it's, it's probably still very industrial. So I'm about eight minute mile in at the minute. Uh, I've ran for about 50 minutes. So I've still got quite a way to go. Well over an hour's worth of running left to do. Possibly a bit more, hour and a half. So from here, I'm at this is called Belvedere Irith Marshes, where I'm actually right this minute. So, this is how long it takes me to get to Woolwich. side of Thames is Dagenham Motors so you, you can just make out a few vans white vans and etc parked up there and more cars over there let's get on with the run I mustn't forget not to uh, unpause the watch here we go again gonna try and keep it nice and steady I'm gonna try and run at 750 pace if I can just to try and keep it sort of uh, comfortable but not too slow so I'll try and get round a bit quicker that way. So it's really windy along here. That's the only thing about this run. I've got a headwind. Abandoned power plant there. Not quite sure what the plans are for that, whether it's to be dismantled or. So this is a the only bad bit about this run is now is that I've got to run past the uh, basically the uh, sewage works, which last time I ran past it absolutely stunk. But uh, I soon let you know what it smells like. Well, not literally what it smells like, but I'll tell you whether it stinks or not. 
Yep, it smells. So as a rule, potent smell of uh, sewage. It's the only bad bit about this little bit of umbi. It takes a couple of minutes to get past. Whoa, that is strong. Whoa, really strong smell of sewage. Just there is the Crossness engines, which is the uh, basically the old pump pump house that they the Victorians installed uh, to get the uh, sewage out of London. Uh, obviously not working now, but uh, it's a museum now, and apparently the actual uh, all the iron stuff in there, the, the mechanics and everything, is absolutely amazing. So I've been told. Finding a little bit hard this morning. Legs are a little bit tired from yesterday, uh, but it's nice to be running in the sunshine anyway, so at least I've got that to enjoy. Well, I'm not quite sure what that overflow thing was. It's possibly from a, a river that runs around here somewhere, because the tide is going out, so I'm 10 miles into me run now. And I'll be really glad to get out of this headwind. It's really starting to hurt now. It's slowing me down. It's a constant battle. Schoolboy error, I should have run the other direction. I always forget about the headwind. I could have easily run it in reverse. So uh, there you go. Lesson learned. Trying to get into a rhythm but the wind just keeps uh, mucking me about a little bit well, I've been battling coming up from, from the uh, Woodage Ferry coming up the hill battling the headwind again there's a tree just there to my right I that's the first time that I managed to get out the wind so I get up this hill there's still another quite a big climb to do. I'm just coming up to 14 miles now. So I'm starting to have to dig in quite a lot. It's got um, after wattage I just could not do any more filming. I was absolutely holding on for dear life. Oh. So that was a decent run in the end. I'll put it up on the screen. I think I was in the end averaging under eight minute miling overall, which is pleasing considering the headwind and the uphill bit as well. There's quite a big climb that was. And even when I got up past Woolwich, turned left, when I got onto Woolwich Common, there was still like a massive crosswind hitting me, bashing me all, all over the place. So uh, I think it was 7.58 average pace in the end, the run I just did. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget if you're not subscribing to subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. Catch you all next week.